The heart is a pumping engine which keeps our blood in circulation so that all our organs may perform their appointed tasks. The whole amount of blood in the body is from five to six quarts, and every time the heart contracts, it forces a volume of blood into the elastic arteries. This is noticed as the pulse, as you have seen. Here we go. Transfusion number 288. 288. Feels like a game day, except I've coached in twice that many games in my NFL career, including six Super Bowls. These treatments even last three hours, the same length as a football game. I sure know which one I'd rather spend three hours on. When I was a kid, you couldn't get me to sit still for three seconds. Temporary variations of the heartbeat may also be due to various forms of excitement. Even then, football was in my veins. At seven years old, I was a ball boy at Walter Bickett High School in Monroe, North Carolina. By high school, I was their starting quarterback. I got a scholarship to Lenore Ryan College, where we won the 1960 NAIA National Championship. And after graduation, coaching became my lifeblood. Four high schools and three colleges over two decades. Then, when I was 41, a guy named Parcells called, asking me to coach tight ends for the New York Giants. I got the three tights in there. My guys were the Swiss Army knives of football, tough and versatile. What that's doing is not slowing down their pursuit on the run. You know, it's helping us a little bit on the running game especially the one guy who spoke the least. I tell you, he's a stone face, that Barbero now. You know what the hell he's thinking. I'd hate to have to fight that son of a gun. Luckily, your heart is the strongest organ of your body. It has a tremendous task to perform. Few people realize the amount of work required of this small mass of muscle, no larger than a man's fist. Sims to Bavaro brought a tear to my eye and nearly a bucket of water in my lap. Here comes Harry Carson now. I was smart enough to stand a few yards away from Parcells on the sideline. I was right behind him in the locker room. The rest of your life, the rest of your life, I'm man, nobody can ever tell you that you couldn't do it, because you did it. <laughs> Under Parcells, we did it twice. High drama here on the Super Bowl. Everyone remembers that kick. I remember something else. Signaling our team to execute the victory formation. Only when Hostetler's knee touched the ground did my pulse start to slow down. We all know Parcells wasn't the easiest boss. Mike, regular people, who's our regular people? Don't worry about signaling to Sim. Just worry about getting him in again. But a few years later, I was sure glad to join up with him and the old gang in New England. Mo's movie? Mo, this is Mo. You're coming to move in here, right? You're coming to move I wanted to be late so you'd have somebody to yell at, so I didn't call the film and have you yell at me. Together, we took the field for another Super Bowl, one I don't like to think about. And it is, oh, it's oh, intercepted. intercepted, and now, baby, it's over. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is coming home. I came back home to the Giants in 2000. 
right, man. Let's go. Let's go. Glad you're here. Yes. I'm glad I'm here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. this division we yeah. want to be. Yeah, you're right. We're going to be the champion in this bunch right here. Let's go, Pope. Just in time for another Super Bowl. Yeah, it could be done, man. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be here with We're going to get it done. We're going to finish it right now. We are, bro. Right? We're going to do it. In retrospect, maybe no team could have beaten the Ravens' defense. But I would have liked to see my next tight end give it a try. Shockey again. And Shockey showing some great moves, staying in battles. And how about that? Who does that remind you of? That's Mark Bavaro. The energy expanded by the heart can lift a person to the very top of the Empire State Building. Wait till you see this thing on tape. It was so patient, you know, where you let it go and he stayed with you. You need to give him a pat on the back. By 2007, I was 65, retirement age. Parcells was relaxing in Saratoga, but a lot of his staff was still in the league, including my new boss, Tom Coughlin, and a youngster I always rooted for on the other side of the field. It is game 16 of the 2007 Patriots regular season. They try to become the first team to go 16 and 0. Hey man, how you doing? You know, I yeah, I've got mixed emotions about this. Yeah, oh, I'm telling you. Well, look. Done, hey. Good luck next done? week. You well, know. You too. Let's you hope we see each time. other again. I hope so. All right. All right. Take right. his mic. Direct snap to Brady. Stands in the pocket. Fires it to the right down the right sideline and caught. Touchdown, Patriots. 16 and 0. Perfection personified. Hey. Nice luck. I couldn't I be happier yeah. for you, man. Thanks a lot. Good luck that's, that's an incredible thing. Nobody does that. Thanks. Nobody Good luck does that. You, Thank you, you very too. much. You too. You're a great friend. Good luck. A month later, we met up again. We had the same thing about four weeks ago, dude. Good to be back here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, man. Yeah. Right. Have a good one. Yeah, okay. Well, if they run the comebacks, which will adjust on the weak side, and you run the seam, that safety runs right out from under you. Can you follow that? Now you're going to be Detroit. I'll tell you, it's a seven-year-old's dream to draw up one of your all-time favorite plays in the Super Bowl. Manning over the middle. Boss makes the catch on the run. Still on his feet across the field. Not down to the 34-yard line. The pulse rate varies within fairly large limits. Wide open Tyree. Makes the catch. It may go up above 100 while taking some recreational exercise and drop back to below 70 while relaxing their front. Four years later came the rematch. Such temporary variations are perfectly normal and to be expected. I've been to six Super Bowls and won four of them. Not a bad run. Little did I know, at 70 years old, I was about to face some harsh realities and come face to face with my seven-year-old self. I was the only Giants coach to be on the staff of all four of their Super Bowl winning teams. My seven-year-old self wanted to sit back and enjoy it. The 70-year-old me wanted more. The seven-year-old thought retirement sounded fun. But for the 70-year-old, it was out of the question, especially after the Giants showed me the door. When another door opened, I found myself working with Jason Whitten, the most durable tight end I've ever seen. Considered as an engine, the Horde is rated as having only about 1 240th of a horsepower. But it is an engine which sometimes remains in motion for 60, 80, or more years without layups, repairs, or replacements. Third down two, 13 seconds to go. No Des Bryant. Here's the snap, fumbled by Romo. Picks it up, has a shot. It's, it's caught Jason Witten. How do you do it? Just like the play. Just like the play. Every one of these big games is always connected. All right. We're going to give out game balls. We've got to give out one right now. This guy was in the New York uh, football giant order. Come here. <laughs> We're here for a long, for a long, long time. Yes, sir. For a long, yes, long time. He's a hell of a coach. He's a hell of a guy. We're lucky to have him. Mike Pope. The 
game ball was a career high point, but it was followed by the absolute low point. During the 2016 season, I started losing feeling in my legs. The Cowboys doctors wouldn't let me on the team playing for week 13 in Minnesota. It was the first time I watched my team from the living room. We won 17 to 15, which would have normally made me happy, except Jason Witten's franchise record streak of consecutive games with a catch ended that day at 130. The next week, the team plane flew to New York to play the Giants, while I flew to New York to meet a world-renowned oncologist. You've been recommended to me as one of the foremost authorities in this condition. Uh, what, what is the diagnosis? You've seen my records. It's not so easy to be exact about it. Okay. So it is a disease that origin that grows in the marrow like leukemia does. Multiple myeloma is the diagnosis. It's a blood cancer in simple terms. Hello, I'm Tom Brokaw, and we have news tonight of some developments in a cancer that you may not have heard of. It's called multiple myeloma. I know that because I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. It came completely unexpected to me five years ago, and I didn't know what I was in for. But I was thinking about it today because I had some treatment, and I thought, you know, this has become part of my life. It's just it's who I am. I'm being treated all the time. As a coach, I used to preach playing one snap at a time. Now my team and I take one treatment at a time. And I'm finally learning a few lessons from my seven-year-old self. Appreciate what you've had. Look forward to the next adventure. Try not to obsess over the fifth Super Bowl ring that never was. Remember the relationships. Coach Pope, I can't begin to try to put into words how thankful I am for the past two years together. Thanks for your constant belief in me as a player and as a person. Our daily pursuit in trying to become the best complete tight end has been so humbling. Please know you have been a huge part of it. Merry Christmas, Witten. Well, he's probably the greatest tight end coach that the NFL has ever had. And that's not an exaggeration. He was a great person, a great human being. I love Mike Pope. Football, life. The rules aren't all that different. Do yourself a favor and take some advice from your younger self. Figure out what gets your blood pumping and never let it go.